Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. Um, this one is very eclectic. Uh, after I done my big sort out yesterday, my previous video will show you that, uh, I literally found loads of stuff and I thought, right, I'm going to use some of this stuff up. There's no point in keeping it, collating it and just letting it sit there. So everything that I used today was already printed out and already in my folders. So, um, the journal measures seven and three quarters by four and a quarter. One signature, 48 pages front and back will be listed in my shop if you're interested. Uh, and also just quickly, I'm going to mention, I have no idea why the beginning of my videos that you you can barely hear me and then I get, I get you know, the loudness comes in with my gob. <laughs> um, because my videos are absolutely fine on my phone. It just seems to be when they, once they're uploaded onto YouTube, something happens in that first couple of, like, couple of seconds. And um, it's, it's really quiet and you can barely hear me. So I don't know what it is. But anyway, I do apologise for that. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but anyway, back to the journal. So... <sighs> This paper was from one of Artie Maisie's kits and I know that, I don't know the original kit it came from, but I know that she's put all her blue tones into a blue tone kit. Um, so, you know, if you just wanted to download all the blue tone papers, you can do that as well. But I can't remember what kit it actually came from. Excuse my inky fingers. So I've used that on the, the cover and um, I've just made this little topper, which is... Uh, this bit was from my porch prints. This was a bit of RT maze. The numbers, uh, the number tile, and the word is I think that's a freebie from RT maze. Uh, this is from one of RT maze's kits as well. And she is um, from my little collection of finds that I found along the way via Pinterest. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's all been stitched. This has been stitched. There's some stitching on the topper as well. It's all been inked around. Uh, the paper on the inside is from Bohemian Crafting, from one of her vintage, um, like vintage ledgers uh, collection. And I've used some Tsunami Rose, which I think is from Charming Fragments. Um, because you can get that in the normal size, you can get it in the TN size, and I've used the TN size because I had some of that printed off. In fact, I think I'd shrunk it down just a little bit because obviously the journal measures seven and three quarters in height, so this was just a little bit shorter, so I must have printed that a little bit smaller for whatever reason. And I think I'd done that on my laser as well, um, so that just shows you how long ago that was because my laser hasn't worked for quite a while. Um, anyway, um, I did show some clusters, cluster pockets and tucks. Um, I showed it on Instagram and some of the Facebook groups yes yesterday or today, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, so this is some Artemis paper, so is this, some vintage music paper. I've used some of the Tim Holtz flower dyes. I don't know which dye it is, but I've got one of them. Artemis ticket, some cheesecloth, which is actually a little hint of blue, and a butterfly and some bling from Artemis. Then inside the pocket, we have this, which is from Artie Maze, and that's a freebie. And this is Artie Maze from one of her butterfly kits. Let's do that that way. <laughs> uh, this is from Bohemian Crafting, which is a ledger piece. It's been coffee dyed. And this is the old design shop. I've put one of these little stickers. Just checking I'm in frame. Uh, this, um, you can find this. This is a freebie. I put that out today or yesterday. Can't remember. <laughs> it's, it's Days are just rolling into one. It's That's January for you. Um, I made uh, three tags. It's a freebie. You can find it in my shop as a freebie. But it's also on... Uh, the Junk Journal Junkies, the Junk Journal Junkie Chat Group, and Artie Maisie's group. This is Tsunami Rose as well. I think that must be from the Hummingbird collection, because there's hummingbirds on there. And this is from Artie Maze, and that's a freebie as well. It's some French ephemera that she's got on her website. Uh, the Old Design Shop. This is um, 
the pocket that I made using the little clusters that I made. Just scrap pieces. This is from Artie Mae's, uh, one of her. I don't know if that was a freebie or it was from one of her collage kits. Then this is actually like a little full envelope. I haven't actually pulled that away yet because I do like to let that dry for a while before I do that in case I just, you know, make a right mess of it. But that's little like full envelopes. And that was an idea from uh, Laurie, Girl on the Ridge. And also, uh, I know Laurie started doing them, but Lisa from Handmade by Lisa or from Lisa, she was doing a little video a while back and I sat and made loads up and put them in a little jar. So she had inspired me to make them, but she also mentioned Laurie as well. So it was Laurie's idea. Um, a stencil, coffee dyed and stenciled tag with a tab on the top. And a little tag, that's a freebie from Artie Mays. As you can see, there's a butterfly theme going through here. This is uh, some tags. There's a few of these throughout there. That, that's from one of my kits. I think it's the Rosa kit. And this is a little journal card from Artie Mays. That's from the Rose journal card collection. Uh, this is a freebie from Artie Mays, which is an envelope. And I love that. I do like collage work. Um, just some coffee dyed paper. I managed to coffee dye quite a bit of paper today whilst in between crafting and waiting for things to dry and I was coffee dyeing paper and putting it onto my radiator so I managed to I think I've done about 40 sheets which I thought was pretty good um so yeah we've got some nice markings on that coffee paper tsunami rose charming fragments a corner tuck again with a cluster and we've got uh this is from the old design shop I think and this is actually a paper that I've made, um, which I was working on a kit, which I am working on a kit. And this was one of the pages and I didn't particularly like it, but I've kept it anyway because it's good for collaging. A uh, ticket from Artie Mays, Butterfly, some bling, a Tracy Fox uh, Field Knots layered tag. <clears throat> this is another one of the freebie tags that I'm, I've am i got in my shop. And this is from Pink Monarch. There is actually supposed to be another one, but I didn't have any of them like already printed out. So I just done these and just popped this on. You get like the larger tag, the smaller tag, and then you get these little um, tickets. So like I said, I was using what I had. <clears throat> um, sticker, this is from Pink Monarch as well. Then here I've just paper clipped on, look at that groovy marking. Paper clipped on a postcard from Tsunami Rose and a little journal card there that is from Laura's shop which is a papered sew uh, on Etsy and this is Tsunami Rose <clears throat> I don't know what kit that's from might be from one of the big is it the big journal cards or something it's called can't remember can't remember I'm trying to guess for things that I have printed out like probably over a year ago <laughs> uh, some printable music paper some nice coffee staining there <coughs> oh, excuse me another that's a freebie tag from my shop so you get three of them did shrink them down just a little bit to fit in this um that was the only thing i printed off actually because obviously i only done that um yesterday or today I can't remember. <laughs> like i said i can't remember whether it was yesterday or today i think it's because it's gone mid gone midnight and i don't know if i'm still on yesterday or to or today <laughs> anyway um, yeah, that's the only thing I did print because obviously I needed to see what it looked like. Um, little postcard there. Is it a postcard or a receipt or something? It's a receipt. Tsunami Rose and that folds out and we've got the sticker that's already on there and that is from Pink Monarch. Then we have another side tuck. Um, Artie Mays paper. So is that. Vintage music paper, Tim Holtz dye, ticket from Artie Mays, butterfly from Artie Mays. I do believe these butterflies are a freebie and I think it's on her website. If you go onto her website, artiemays.com, and then click on the freebie section, um, you'll see all the freebies on there. This is from Bohemian Crafting. Coffee dyed in the back. I showed you how to do that the other day. Got a video on that. Easy peasy. Coffee dyeing your printables. Um, <clears throat> you know, kind of 
suggesting what you know what papers to use and how I do it. That's one of my tags. Don't know if that's a freebie or I've just made that up from one of the collage sheets from one of my kits. I can't remember. And they are Artie Maze. That is <clears throat> freebie um, on her website. And Tsunami Rose, coffee dyed paper. This is another freebie envelope. There's some coffee dyed paper in there. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. And that goes on there. Then another pocket with one of these clusters with a little kind of four envelope that you really can't see. But it's all been inked up and it's got some stamping on there. Then the cheesecloth, the butterflies, Artie Mays. Um, <clears throat> this paper's Artie Mays as well. We have a tag, uh, coffee dyed and stenciled. This is Artie Mays freebie on her website that is. Uh, this is one of my tags. I do think that's from one of the kits and that don't know who that's from that's Artie Mays possibly Cami or Shop Christie Art Design something like that and that goes in there uh, Tsunami Rose that's the hummingbird little postcard there from Artie Mays and that flips out put a little sticker on there we've got a tab and you can journal on there and that just goes there or it could tuck inside there I'm just going to pop it out onto there for a bit of interest. And another corner tuck there again with the cluster. <clears throat> Tim Holtz, uh, it's like a fern rather than a flower. Ticket from Artie Mays, uh, some cheesecloth, the butterfly. Uh, field notes layered tags from Tracy Fox. And that is one of my tags from, I think it's the Rosa, the Rosa kit. It's a Traveller's Notebook kit. And then a little tag there. This is actually a tag fabrication tag, I believe. And then I just popped on the little butterfly ticket there from um, Pink Monarch. And then that is the back. That is the little journal. So that was fun to do. And it just shows you, you don't really need to have a theme. I think you just kind of go with the flow with certain colours and kind of break it up a little bit with some neutrals and I think you can make a great journal from a, a non-kit. <laughs> so like I said, this will be listed in my shop. Um, I also still have available, um, not sure if it's that one, but there's one of these still available and I don't know where it's gone. Ah, oh, there we go. That one. Um, it's either, whoops, I know that's still available and it's one of these two that's still available. One's gone, but um, that's gone out in the post. And the one that's sold, it's gone out in the post on Saturday. And yeah, they were so cute then. Um, so yes, that's what's still available in my shop if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions, just ask and thanks for watching. Bye.